What is up, all you beautiful people? Welcome back to Gamer News with me, Impact Bulldog. Now, as you can see, see this, this new, new intro, intro, very, very swaggy. Thank you very much, Xbox Upload, for allowing me to have that. But what you're going to be watching now is just a nice little gameplay that I got while I was going for Diamond Pistols and. Uh, I was just trying to get the RK5 gold and I did pretty well. I was playing with a friend on Demolition, so I hope you guys do enjoy. So today, instead of doing multiple topics, I'm just cover, going to cover one topic that will last for a couple minutes or a few minutes, and that is Assassin's Creed, the franchise that I love and adore, and after Hitman is probably my favourite franchise. Assassin's Creed, as you may or may not know, has an annual release, um, that, which basically means that every year, on a certain date, they release a new game. Now, you may think that's good, but um, believe me, you're very, very wrong. This gives them a year, which is 365 days to create the story for the game, the physics, the graphics, and much, much more. Now, as we've seen in both Syndicate and Unity, they end up copying and just plain reusing their content, which, although it does have a different story behind it, it's just bland and just an overall lame experience for the gamer. Obviously, because of this, it's basically them just posting the same game every year, which is just not fun. But all this is about to change. Ubisoft have recently said that they are taking a break from their annual routine and moving towards a long-term project for the franchise. Now, this is something that we kind of all wanted, all fans of the franchise anyway, and that is because instead of having a year, they may have two or three years, and as we've seen so far with Call of Duty, that has turned amazing. Call of Duty, as you may or may not know, has gone from a one-year cycle to a three-year cycle, so it is actually amazing. And now that Assassin's Creed are kind of going down that route, I think that we're going to have some quality games. If you guys remember Assassin's Creed 1 and 2, those are probably some of the best games on Xbox 360 and PS3, so you never know, we may actually get some very, very, very nice new games and content from Ubisoft. In my opinion, this is amazing as it allows the developers and game creators to let their uh, imagination sorry, run wild for the game. Thank you so much for watching guys, and just before I do want to end off this topic, I know it was only one topic, but um, I've had uh, recently on Skype um, some, some criticism, it's not really criticism, um, what I consider criticism, all all aspects, even if it's just people like trolls or haters, or whatever, um, going on about my channel, saying that it's not good. That's their opinion, and they're completely entitled to it. And um, I won't hold it against them if that's what they if they don't like my channel. But um, what I don't get is that if people directly message me and um, insult me while they're trying to criticise, then that's I don't exactly see that as constructive criticism. I love constructive uh, criticism. I always want to make my work better, no matter what it is, and no matter who it's for. Um, so I think people that insult you, for example, if they say, you know, oh, your work's shit, mate, you should do this, this, and this, you literally could have just messaged me saying, if you do this, I believe that your videos will be better. Even, I don't even care, like, if you swear at me, but it's just the fact that if you plainly insult my videos, if you use derogatory language towards me, I'm not going to accept that. So... Um, anyone on social media, now I, I, just before I actually go on and say what I'm about to say, I'm not trying to, anyone that messaged me with constructive criticism, my Skype is um, sniper10159, you can add me, it's at impact, uh, at impact bulldog on Twitter, um, but you can uh, follow me or whatever, and if you don't like my videos, then tell me and tell me why. But thank you so much for watching guys, hope you guys did enjoy, thanks so much for watching.